Oh my god. That is a giant. A couple of weeks after our last outing, it was time to settle in for an extended hunt. I had six full days and Thomas would be with me for four of them. I decided to start in a new area that had quite a few timber cuts in the vicinity. After leaving home early, I arrived around 10.30 a.m. or so and was greeted by a lot of fog sitting low and obscuring views. Well, I just finally got to a first glassing point that seems like it might be decent, but that's what I'm dealing with right now. Everything's just fogged in really hard. It looks pretty good down here from what I can see, but hard to see very much. Guys, please don't be these people. Please don't be those people. Well, this is an interesting spot here. So I just go ahead and make a sandwich real quick. It's clearing up. And uh, man, this spot looks really interesting. Got lots of grass and cliffs. Definitely feels like a bear could pop out anywhere. It's pretty, I'm on top of the south facing slope. There's tons of grass. There's a bench down here, tons of grass on it, creek in the bottom. There's a road that goes down there, but kind of just gets close to the bottom of that bench and then veers off. So, pretty interesting, I'm gonna eat my sandwich, see if anything pops out, but if not, we'll move on, try to get eyes on some other spots. First time I'm seeing this area, so just gonna try to do a quick scout around all the waypoints that I have marked. Then find camp and figure out what I want to do for tomorrow. Looks good though. After my lunch, I continued scouting the area and making mental notes. For good measure, I even threw in taking 30 minutes to saw through a tree and winch it out of the way only to run into a million more trees across the road. With the day winding down, I found a good spot to set up camp and finally get some dinner. Well, I'm up in the tent. My back was killing me from sitting in the car for 12 hours today, so called it a day early, had some dinner, Trying to watch the Dallas Stars playoff game, second round Stanley Cup playoffs, but barely have any signal, so it's not working. Gonna crash and hunt this area tomorrow. We'll see. Hopefully, it's not too fogged in in the morning. Uh, if it is, I may end up just relocating back to where Thomas and I were last time we were down here. Um, all those cuts were pretty good. We saw bears over there. And they're closer together, so it's easy to kind of easier to kind of bounce between the different units. So these ones over here are a bit spread out, and so you waste a lot of time driving. Yeah, a lot of the units look pretty good over here. Um, saw a few other hunters out this evening, but yeah. Anyway, gonna get some sleep and get after it in the morning. Stay tuned. It's about 8 o'clock, just got down out of the tent. Still a little fogged in a little bit, but as you can see, the sun's trying to poke through, so it's a good sign. Hopefully this uh, fog will burn out here pretty quick and we'll be able to see into these units. So get some breakfast going. Not in too much of a rush this morning, but it's gonna get, get camp packed up, get some breakfast, and then hit the road and start looking at some of these units. Well, I just got out here to the first cut. Doesn't look like there's anything in here at the moment. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day though, which is awesome.
this happen to anybody else as soon as you get out of here. You have to pee every time. It's like the anticipation just like makes me pee. <laughs> Chipmunk, first wildlife. I spent day two of this trip driving roads, checking timber cuts, and getting to know the area. A lot of cuts looked perfect, just no bears out and about while I was there. Eventually, I finally came across oh, some big game. some wildlife down here. I've been watching these elk for maybe 20, 30 minutes now and uh, I think I counted 18 at the most, pretty cool, but uh, I haven't seen any bears and it's pretty warm, so I think I'm going to move on, head to a new area, but yeah, super cool to see some wildlife finally. After not seeing any bears in this area, I made the decision to relocate back to where Thomas and I had been a couple of weeks ago. On the way out, I noticed one last secluded cut on my maps and I decided to check it out. When I got back in there, I could hardly believe my eyes. Giant. Oh my god, that is a giant. That thing is huge. Oh, look at that belly.
play on this guy. So steep. There was a lot going through my mind as I was watching this bear. It was huge. I was alone. It would be the longest shot I've ever attempted. It was over 500 vertical feet below me and I've never shot at such a steep angle. It was 3 p.m. and if I killed it, it would take me a long time to pack it out solo. When I did the math in my head, I managed to talk myself out of taking the shot. In hindsight, of course, I would do things differently, but in the moment, it was the right decision. I sat on the cut the rest of the evening telling myself I would shoot the bear if it came back out, but I never actually had to make that call. Alright, well, done with dinner. Sun's dipped behind the mountains and the clouds over there. I'm gonna head back to camp, tuck in for the night. And, uh, hopefully get on this bear tomorrow morning. Stay tuned.